Welcome to Code Mantra's Accessibility Insight Interview Series. I'm Barry Beeler, Senior Vice President of Strategic Alliances at Code Mantra, and your host for today's session. Joining me is Michael Johnson and Ian Smith. Michael is the Director of Content Partnerships at Benetech. He has 30 years worth of experience on the blend of publishing, technology, and institutions. In this role, he works directly with publishers, conversion houses, technology platforms, and educational institutions to help them understand and implement processes that allow for fully born accessible content to get from authors all the way through the EPUB ecosystem to the end reader. Joining Michael is my colleague, Ian Smith, who is our Director of Accessibility Platforms and Solutions at Code Mantra. Ian has been a technologist all of his career and more recently architected Code Mantra's document accessibility remediation platform called Accessibility Insight. He is a frequent speaker at accessibility trade events and writes about accessibility issues and topics on our company blog. Michael, let's take a look at accessibility from a broader perspective and, and maybe you can provide some context to how accessibility has really helped all of us. Yeah, this is a, a very interesting issue because a lot of people view accessibility as uh, if they're a content creator or uh, an institution, they view the accommodations for accessibility to be some sort of, uh, you know, uh, unfunded tax or, or some sort of burden on them to provide these services and this content. When the reality is we have a long history, at least in the United States, of accessibility uh, laws, procedures, and policies benefiting everybody, not just the people for whom it was targeted. Now, uh, this allows me to tell a story, which is something I love to do. And, and this, this story is about beers, babies, and echoes. So off we go. Uh, the issue about beers, uh, if you go into a bar and it's crowded and it's noisy, which in these times perhaps doesn't happen that often, but imagine, and uh, there's a, tel a few televisions in the bar and there's closed captioning running across the bottom, right? Just like you would see in this interview. So the closed captioning is running there and that is done by, uh, for compliance of a federal mandate that if you are broadcasting, you need to have a closed caption option. However, everybody benefits. Wherever it is you are, even perhaps at home where you wanna watch something quietly because others are sleeping or what have you, the closed captioning allows everybody to benefit from this feature. It was put there because of the American with the Disabilities Act, but everyone who has a video stream with closed captioning benefits from that. So the next example, babies. So you have a baby, you're going out for a walk, you put the baby in the baby carriage, you benefit enormously from curb cuts in sidewalks and from ramps instead of stairs or in addition to stairs in any building. Same situation. Those curb cuts on every city street in America and those ramps in addition to or instead of stairs are there because of the American with Disabilities Act. However, everyone pushing a baby stroller understands the benefit and appreciates the benefit of having those curb cuts and those ramps instead of stairs. And as a guy who used to spend 100 plus days on the road with rollerboard luggage, I used to benefit from it all the time when traveling. So federal mandate, American with Disabilities Act, curb cuts, ramps instead of stairs, everybody benefits, not just people in wheelchairs or other sorts of mobility assisted technology. And then the echoes part, echoes, uh, Siri, Google Voice, any of these voice activated assistants, they also come out of the accessibility market because people with various physical disabilities can't manipulate certain devices and being able to use voice activation with technology helps those people with those sorts of disabilities. So in summary, beers, babies, echoes, these are just three examples of accessibility related legislation to which people with which people comply not just to the benefit of those with the associated disability, but to the benefit of all of us, myself included. I mean, with Code Mantra's focus on digital document remediation using our AI and machine learning platform, Accessibility Insight, how do you see document remediation benefiting not only the sight impaired, but possibly others? Uh, there's no possibly, it absolutely benefits others. If we take a moment and think about how the majority of us consume content today, you know, it's in bits and pieces. We're, we're seeking a certain nugget of information and detail and accessible documents allow 
allow for that to be much easier today. If you think about it, um, an accessible document really is a structured document, structured from, from a machine readable perspective. So, um, you know, obviously the original intent was for assistive technologies to read these documents and convey that information to the user of that assistive technology. Doesn't mean that other software and other platforms can't make, ex, uh, make use of that information as well, which is actually the case. So it allows these full documents to be more easily navigated by any of us um, through the use of a keyboard or our mobiles or whatnot. So absolutely, the, and a fully accessible document makes consumption of that content uh, more beneficial to all. 